Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, we're gonna do August empties. It is like confusing weather in Toronto right now. So like I'm half cold, half hot. I'm wearing a tank top and long jogging pants. We're approaching into September and mother nature doesn't know what she wants to do. Um, I have quite a few things. Grab yourself a coffee, something to drink. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this short, but I can't promise anything because usually my empties are pretty, you know, they're pretty intense. Pumpkin spice latte, everybody. My favorite drink for fall. Anyways. I have all my August empties here. I'm gonna tell you guys what I liked, what I didn't like, and, you know, continue on into September. So um, let's just get started here. I have so many things that I'm gonna know where to start. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the big bottle here, my Crest mouthwash. This is the Cool Winter Green. I have been attracted to Crest mouthwash more than Listerine lately only because it's alcohol free. I like the taste. I'm beginning to like the taste even better than Listerine. Um, Listerine was always my ride or die. It is an alcohol based mouthwash and I don't know as I'm getting older I just prefer something non-alcohol based. So the Crest is for the win. I have been repurchasing Crest mouthwash I've been finding it on sale, so I've been I've been going with that. Um, I have one, two, three uh, hand soaps, Bath and Body Works, Guava Colada, Stress Relief, that's the eucalyptus one, and then Fresh Rainfall. Uh, yeah, you know, you guys, even though COVID seems to be not a thing anymore i still am very try to keep my hands as clean as possible and i love the bath and body works ones um will i stray from them from time to time maybe uh there's i've been in the drugstore lately and um i've been noticing that i really like like i want to try some of the drugstore hand soaps but I've been holding off because I do have a few more of the Bath and Body Works ones. The Bath and the Body Works ones, I feel like when I get them on sale, they're like three fifty dollars each. And the drugstore ones are like, I don't know, they range between $5.99 to $7.99 a bottle. And they're not, they never go on sale. It's very rare. So I don't know, you guys, we'll see. I feel like I may just go back to Bath and Body Works. I enjoy the smells. It's fun, you know. Anyways, here's another... Crest mouthwash, the little bottle. Um, I used the clean mint for when I traveled. I was house sitting for a while in July and I took the little bottle with me. Um, okay, so vitamins. These are the chewable vitamin C's by Jameson, um, exotic tropical fruit. Uh, if you don't like to swallow pills, I mean the chewables are not bad. I am trying to get, get away from Jameson products only because they are a very low grade vitamin and absorption absorption rate for these are very, very, very low, like 5% or less. So I'm not a fan of Jameson brand. Um, I have these in my back stock and I didn't want them to go bad. So I used them up before they expired. Um, but I don't think I'll be buying these again. They were... They were okay, but I, I I prefer my emergency powder mixed with water than that. Um, probiotic, you guys. Everybody wants to know what probiotic I am on. This is the one. I actually go between this one and there's another one that comes in a, a round bottle. Um, those are the two that I mainly use. I will never be without a probiotic after what I went through last year with parasites. Uh, okay, so I have, you guys, some face masks. Um, a lot of them are actually the same ones, but okay, so I have three of the Dr. Jart hydration face masks. 
get these at TJ Maxx for like you buy five of them you get them for six bucks so you, they're just over a dollar each um, love these I'll continue to purchase Dr. Jart. I have some other Dr. Jart ones in my stash. And then I have the Watermelon After Sun Mask by Sephora. This one is bomb, you guys. This one is so super hydrating. If I can find this again, I will so buy it. That one is more expensive. I think it's like $7.99 for just one. I know. I try to get them when they're on sale, like $3.50, but still... It's expensive so I don't I have one more of those watermelon ones but I'm holding off to use them when I actually like desperately need to because I have other face sheet masks that I can use um, oh here it seems there's another Dr. Jart one you guys I told you I just I love the serum from it it does really good on my skin um, I've never had an issue with Dr. Jart so thumbs up Dr. Jart uh, I have a Tatcha Luminous Face Mask, Deep Hydration Lifting Mask, Red Algae Extract. Uh, I don't know, I never, I mean, it made my skin soft, but nothing like I, nothing that's worth $70 for a pack of four, because those face masks are like 75 bucks for a pack of four sheets. I ain't about that life. Um, won't be buying those again. But this, my Life Brand Face Wipes, these are fantastic. They are three in one. They have vitamin E and, uh, or no, sorry, they have uh, cucumber extract. I don't think they have vitamin E in them, do they? I don't think so. But they do have aloe vera juice. And um, I find that my skin likes this when I take off my makeup. And, you know, I hate to say it, but I can't live without a face wipe. I just can't. I use um, an oil to break down heavy makeup if I'm wearing heavy makeup and then I go in with a face wipe to take off the oil. Why? Because I don't need my, my drains and my house clogged because back in the day I had my drains clogged with all the oils and like clay masks I used and my like my pipes in my bathroom had to be replaced because of the buildup of the oil and the clay masks and all that shit. So after that, I'm like, screw that shit. I'm just going to take it off with a makeup wipe. And that's what I've been doing. It saves me in the long run for house maintenance. And believe me, when you have pipes that you have to replace in your home, it is not worth it. Let me tell you. You don't want to go through that hell. So yes, the life makeup rub. The Life Makeup Wipes from Shoppers Drug Mart are by far my favorite. 56 in a pack. So it's like a month and a half you're covered. Close, you're close. You're four days off from a two month supply. You're four days off from a two month supply. But really, it's worth it. And they come in packs of two at Shoppers. You always find them on sale. Um, okay, so huh, Jameson, you guys. The lysine, zinc, and vitamin C. Uh, again, I'm trying to step away from the Jameson brand, so I just used these up. I didn't want them to go bad because, you know, they cost money and they are just not a good absorption rate for me. And I prefer a higher end vitamin uh, supplement. So I did use these up. I will not be buying those again. Um, I did finish my Vimergy Licorice. Uh, medical medium talks about this all the time. I, um, I, I don't know if I'll buy this again. I mean, I find that the Vimergy products do work very well. That one was leaking. Uh, but I don't know if I need licorice right now. I mean, if I ever need licorice to go back into my supplement routine, then I'll, I'll get it again. But right now I think I'm okay. Um, okay, I think we're done with the, oh, one more vitamin situation. Oh God, I have a sneeze, you guys. What's going on with me? This is the Modere Activate, three packets. This is like a cleanse, like a three-day cleanse where you um, put one packet of this in water, you mix it, you drink it right away. It's got psyllium husk, it's got all kinds of great stuff. It's expensive, three packets are like 40 bucks. However, um, 
Every so often, I like to do one of these because it cleanses your colon and your intestines very nicely. And it's not like a harsh cleanse, it's a gentle cleanse. So you're not like, you're not like having to go run to the bathroom every two minutes. It's, you drink it at night before bed, the next morning you have a great bowel movement and you're good to go. So the Madeira Activate is a favorite of mine. I will continue to repurchase, just, I don't repurchase as often because it is quite expensive. Um, I have my facial toner, which Hazel Lavender by Thayer's. Um, I do love the Thayer's facial toner. I will be getting this again, but I'm going through some other toners before I rebuy this. However, I mean, Thayer's I love is a great brand for my toner and I use it as an essence instead of like a toner. I don't know why they call it a toner. I use it as an essence. Um, but my skin just loves this. So the Witch Hazel by Thayer's is bomb and I will be repurchasing it once I go through some more of my other uh, toner slash essences. Um, I have my hair products, you guys, for coloring. So the ice cream 20 volume and then I have a new hair color that I tried by Zotto's Age Beautiful with biotin. It's the blue black prove, proven to fight all signs of aging hair permanent anti-aging hair color. This is in 1B. Um, get at Sally's. Uh, so far, I mean, I like it. It uh, does me well. I mean, I, my regrowth is very fast because I'm on a really high strict supplement regime so the turnover of my hair growth is incredible right now which i've never had in my life until i've i retrain my body with supplements but um typically i will recolor my hair once every eight weeks typically i could recolor it once every four if i really wanted to but i try to stretch it once every eight because it's just a pain in the ass to do but i do it anyways I will repurchase these and I have a few backups um, already. Um, so I have some body wash. This is the Body Clear Body Wash Pink Reefer by Neutrogena. Uh, I tend to use this more in the summer-ish time when it's like humid and gross out because my body will, you know, break out and whatnot when I'm sweating. And because I work out consistently throughout the week, I do need to use one of these. I finished one bottle I already repurchased. Um, and then I have another uh, body wash. This is the Soft Soap Gentle Almond Wash with almond oil and peony. This was a really good one. Got it at the dollar store for like three or four bucks. Really liked this one. Reminded me of like um, almond vanilla, which was really nice. Um, I would get it again if I found it at the, do at the dollar store because Soft Soap at the drugstore is like $8.99. When you go to the dollar store, it's like four bucks. So... Next time I'm at the dollar store, if I see it, I will pick it up. Um, okay, so I have two, not one, but two of the Hyaluronic Acid Moisture Cream Skin Safety Tested by It's Skin. This is what these are called. They are a balm, an eye balm. I used, I used both because... There's a lot of product in here and I didn't want them to expire. So I didn't think I would get them finished before they expired. So what I did was I used, um, I used them on under my eyes and as a serum all over my face. This stuff is really super hydrating. So if you have like extremely over the top dry under eye skin or even face, this is a serum is fantastic all over the face, not just the eyes. Even though they consider it an eye cream, it's an eye gel. So it, it's like, it's a serum based in my eyes. When I took it out of the tube, it looked like a serum base to me. Serum slash gel hybrid. It wasn't a cream by any means, but it was really hydrating and I really did work on my skin. So if you happen to see these, I got, I got these at TJ Maxx for like under 10 bucks, which was a great deal. I really liked them, they were pretty good. Um, I have a Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. I have one more of these. I really liked how gentle this was. It reminded me of, um, I don't know, it, it's like goat milk vanilla. I don't know, it smells really nice. It reminded me of, 
I don't know, some light vanilla scent, but very, 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 very light. Nothing, you know, horrendous or anything like that. It's really expensive. I think it's like $50 a tube. I got mine at, at um, TJ Maxx for like 19. So I picked it up there. Um, I do have a backup and the backup I bought on Box Charm because Box Charm had it on sale for 12 bucks. Can't go wrong. Okay, so I finished the Vital Beauty Whipped Moisturizer Hyaluronic Acid. This one was a big one. It was a six ounce jar, you guys. And can I tell you, like I would never be able to get through a six ounce jar before it expired. And I didn't want it to expire. I'm very, very um, particular on my skincare and making sure that I use it before it expires only because I just don't want my money to go to waste. Like I buy these products, I wanna use them up. So what I did was I used this not only on my face, but all over like my arms, my decollete, even my body. And it was a really hydrating cream. I didn't break out from it or anything like that. It was really uh, nice and it was um, easy to use and gentle on my skin. Um, I'm just looking at the ingredients here. Uh, there's nice cinnamide in here. There's a little bit of lavender oil and jasmine oil. Uh, but there's vitamin E, there's glycerin, there's ceramides, there's the hyaluronic acid. Um, so, I mean, pretty decent ingredients. I mean, if you're affected a little bit by fragrance, it did have a bit of a fragrance, but I don't really get affected by fragrance in that sense. So uh, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. If you guys find this, it's a great deal. I got mine at TJ Maxx. They were $9.99 for six ounces of face cream. So if you're one of those who just doesn't wanna bother and you want something to last you a while for just your face, um, check this brand out. TJ Maxx, you guys, TJ Maxx. That's where I found mine. Um, so yeah, that was good while it lasted. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, the next one I finished was the high, so this goes with the It's Skin Eye Gel. This was the Hyaluronic Acid Moisture Cream. Um, this is what it looks like. And again, it it's a gel base. I don't know if you could see that. It's a gel base. See? And I just, you know, I, I use it on my face. I use it on my neck and decollete because it's water. Like you can tell like it's very much a water base, which is nice especially in the summertime. And um, it just really hydrated the skin really nicely. This was about 10 bucks as well. Uh, really good, really good for, you know, the price. And uh, it really did hydrate me really nicely. So I'm just, whatever is left in the bottom, I'm trying to. There's a bit of a scent I'll be honest, it, there was a bit of a scent, but um, I didn't really mind it. Um, if you're not, like, if you don't love scents, then I would stay far away from it. But for me, I just, I didn't mind it. It was hydrating and uh, it was really nice. I liked it. The jar is only, what's the jar? 1.69 fluid ounces, which is, you know, roughly ar around the general amount that you get for a face cream. Um, the six ounce is like, I have never seen anything like it, but this one um, is definitely 1.69 fluid ounces and it was great for the price, can't go wrong. Just a couple more things, you guys. So I finished a Pure Lely Tea Tree Essential Oil. Um, I won't get this again. This was really soapy and I wasn't a fan. That thing came with my, um, I got a uh, essential oil humidifier, whatever it is that you use with oil and water and comes out. I got that as a gift. So it came with some of those essential oils. That was the last one from that set. Thank God, cause it was very soapy and I didn't like it. Um, 
Then I finished the Ole Henriksen Invigorating Night Transformation Gel. This is really great for those who want to chemical exfoliate, but very gently. Um, this is a chemical exfoliator, but it's not as harsh as all other chemical exfoliators out on the market. So if you're looking to try a chemical exfoliator, but you're unsure and you're a little bit scared, I would try this one first because it's more gentler on the skin. Um, I found that this was a great introduction to chemical exfoliating when I first started years ago. Finish that one. I will eventually get it again in the future. Uh, the Tatcha Dewy Serum, fantastic, hella expensive. I had this in a kit. Would I buy it again? I, I kind of want to, but I'm going to wait until my serums are used up before I go and explode on a hundred and something dollar serum from Tatcha. And then this guy I got in a BoxyCharm box. This is the Volition Turmeric Brightening Polish Face and Body. It does brighten. Um... The granules are like sand, very, very fine. I find that it is just too fine for my body. I need something a little more harsher on my body um, skin. However, it's nice on the face. So if you're looking for something more finer and gentler on the face, this is a good one. I do like that for that. Um, but on the body, it's definitely not my favorite. There's not really a scent to this either. No, no scent to that. And that was it. I got that on BoxyCharm, so I don't even know where to find that if I wanted to get it again. But I don't tend to physically exfoliate my face as often as I used to when I was a teenager, only because I do chemical exfoliation now. So it's a little bit more high tech than the physical exfoliation. Um, but that was it, you guys. That was my August empties. Hallelujah. I got the, the garbage out of the way. Um, I think I did really good this month. I didn't, you know, every month I say, I don't think I'm going to do all that well with finishing products. But, you know, lo and behold, I was able to finish another batch of products. And I'm really good to happy to get this out of my uh, collection. Um, we'll see what s September brings. And in all honesty, you guys, and this is going to be really, really bad because I'm a summer person. I've always loved the summertime. Summer is my, my season, but I'm, I'm over summer now. I'm ready for the pumpkin spice and the, you know, long sleeve sweaters and the long tights and the socks and the running shoes and the boots, like... I don't know, maybe because this summer we had, we're so busy, I didn't get to enjoy as much as I wanted to, but I'm just, I'm ready for fall. I might regret that later on, but I am ready for fall. Um, so let me know down below, what is it that you guys finished? What are you happy about finishing? Are you excited for fall? I'm gonna go pick a pumpkin and collect apples, I know that. Maybe not right away, but at some point in the fall season, I will be doing those two things. Um, also, too, Halloween is in fall, and Halloween is my favorite time of the year. So, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to like the video, comment below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!